see it's been a minute um and so welcome to another vlog and more specifically welcome to vlogmas i know it's been a while since i've uploaded it's probably been i don't know about two weeks since i uploaded the video and um i think the last i haven't uploaded a whole lot of stuff like i haven't been on instagram anywhere really um i've just been kind of like really just taking a break because i knew i wanted to do vlogmas and um i know it during vlogmas i upload uh, well i'm gonna try to upload more videos than i normally do which i already upload a ton of videos as it is i upload three times a week so during vlogmas or during the month of december um i'm gonna try to upload a little bit more i'm not gonna do every day because i know during vlogmas or if you're new here during vlogmas and you don't know what that is that's basically where you vlog every day up until christmas so essentially it's about 25 videos so i'm not gonna do that i don't think i did it last year either um but i am gonna try to do as many as i can but I, you know we're gonna play it by ear you know i'm not gonna stress myself out trying to do 25 videos in december um it'll actually it'll actually be more than that because i'll probably upload even after um christmas um up until new year's probably i'm not sure yet we'll see how it goes we're just playing it by ear y'all so um but yeah so just to kind of catch up what have i been doing not much of anything <laughs> just like i said resting and just kind of like enjoying my family or spending time with my family i should say and yeah just resting and not doing a whole bunch of really anything and just really just trying to like get my mind focused on vlogmas and what i want to do for vlogmas i'm trying to make it as authentic as possible and not like plan a whole bunch of stuff however um i'm a planner so that it's gonna take a lot of discipline for me not to plan anything which um yeah i plan some stuff like i just have like some things kind of like written on my calendar that i want to do and so um yeah so i'll do those things and then you know whatever else may pop up um during the month of december so because i'm the type of person that i have to really plan or else i won't do anything and it gives me something to look forward to I feel like when you plan stuff rather than just do it on a whim i feel like i feel like it gives you something to look forward to so um i'm a huge planner so but um yeah so right now um just as you can see trying to do my hair put my hair in like a um little sleek back bun i've been wearing my hair or wearing extensions for the past few weeks so i just got tired of having those clip-in extensions in my hair my hair needed a break from that so um we just gonna do this slick back bun today we don't know what we'll do tomorrow we'll see what happens tomorrow but today we're doing a slick back bun so and i don't know let me show you guys like how how much my hair has grown if you've been following me then you guys know i cut my hair back in april to like it's probably to here and now as you can see it's pretty much just about well, it's not just about it is uh shoulder length so i'm sure by by summertime it'll probably be to my bra strap if i don't cut it anymore i was telling my husband last night i think i think i'm done cutting i think i'm just gonna let it grow back out and then i don't know who knows what will happen next summer next summer i might or next spring i should say because i cut it in april so i may cut it next spring i don't know we'll see um but yeah so that's kind of like how long my hair has grown so uh oh i just messed it up um so on the agenda today i am just gonna be at home really today um i'm going to put up my christmas tree and just put up my christmas decorations um in general i haven't done that yet i typically do it after thanksgiving but this year i just just wasn't feeling it and i'm the type of person if i'm not feeling something i'm not gonna do it um even though i probably should push myself to do it but yeah i just have to be in the mood to do certain things and i just wasn't in the mood to put up my tree after chris after thanksgiving um so yeah i'm gonna put my christmas tree up today which means i gotta take off or put up my um fall decor because i still have my fall decor out so um yeah so i'm gonna do that today and just kind of clean up around the house getting the house kind of in order for christmas i guess or the holiday season so um but yeah so that's what's on the agenda today i've got hair all over me um but yeah so that's what's on the agenda today 
Um, and I also want to share with you guys a new handbag that I just got that was given to me, I should say, from Teddy Blake. I've heard that brand before, but never um, purchased any handbags. And they reached out to me and was like, can we send you a handbag? I was like, absolutely. Like, I'm not going to turn down anything free, especially when it comes to handbags. So I'll show you guys. It's just, it's so cute. I've already opened it because I'm just that type of person. I just, I just, I just get antsy and I just, yeah, I just can't not open it up. So, but it came yesterday. So um, I'm going to open it up today for you guys and show you my new handbag. So um, it was given to me. So I'm not getting paid or anything like that to show it or anything. I'm just wanting to share with you guys um, because I've been wanting a, you know, manifestation is real because I was just saying to myself how I want this certain type of bag. And then Teddy Blake reached out to me and I was like, yes. And then I looked on the website and saw exactly what it was that I had in my head that I wanted. So manifestation is real, please. Let me put you on to manifestation. Manifest the life you want. <laughs> um, but anywho, so that's what's on the agenda today. Um, I need to clean up a little bit as well, do some laundry. And yeah, so it's just going to be a at-home vlog, which um, I don't think I do a whole lot of at-home vlogs. I don't think. Usually I try to do vlogs when I'm doing something. But because we're vlogging every day this month, for the most part, um, a lot of these vlogs are probably just going to be home vlogs. So hopefully you guys don't get too bored <laughs> of, of watching these vlogs. But I like vlogging. So I love to watch other people's vlogs. And I love to create these vlogs. I did it last year. Just had so much fun. And so, yeah. We're doing round two. <laughs> Vlog this 2023. So, um, but yeah. Right now I'm going to go and clean up a little bit. You guys are going to clean with me and take down fall decorations and then i'm going to go in the basement and get my christmas decorations i wanted to buy some a new christmas tree but we just decided we just gonna hang in there with this tree one more year we're gonna give it one more year and maybe get a new tree next year i want a bigger one because we have high ceilings well we have a huge ceiling in our um, living room so um i want a bigger tree to kind of like yeah, feel that space. I mean, I, it's obviously not going to be that big, but I at least want maybe an eight foot, nine foot tree. I think the tree we have now is seven foot. So I would love to have like an eight foot, maybe a nine foot tree. So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so yeah, let me just go ahead and get off here before I keep bla you know blabbering on. Just wanted to come on here real quick and say, you know, hello, welcome back. Glad you guys are, you know, stuck around, you know, or still here. <laughs> and, you know, I know I've been MIA, but like I said, I just kind of rested to get myself prepared for Vlogmas because I knew I was going to be vlogging a lot in December. So you guys are going to, I'm going to make up for, I'm going to make up for it. I'm going to make up for what you guys didn't see at the end of November. I'm going to make up for it in December. Trust me. So, um, but yeah, let's just get this Vlogmas started and I um, hope you enjoy and yeah, let's get it started.
I am so tired now. Um, yeah, I didn't realize how much that was gonna wear me out. So all the fall decor is away and have laundry in the washing machine. And yeah, I decided to take off the um, sweater because I started to burn up. So I just put on a little t-shirt. Um, we just gonna keep it wrapped around our shoulders for right now. So, um, but yeah, so I thought I would share with you guys my new handbag. As promised, I told you guys that I just got this handbag in from this brand called Teddy Blake. Known of this brand before, but never, you know, never bought anything. So it was nice for them to reach out to gift me a bag. So I'm gonna share with you guys this handbag. And I really like the packaging. This is what the packaging looks like. It's really sleek and just very, just minimalistic, which I absolutely love. Just very aesthetic. So, and it opens like this on the side. Like I said, I've already opened it. So, um, I'll just give you guys a full experience. So, it says um, here on the box, uh, Teddy Blake, New York. Designer bags made in Italy. Luxury leather. Each Teddy Blake handbag has been made with you in mind to be an extension of your unique style and flatter your every fashion choice. So, but so yeah, this is what it looks like. And then it came really packaged really well. So very like designer-esque. And so you just open it up like this. And then it comes in a little um, bubble wrap. So I'm just going to put this to the side over here. I have y'all in my bedroom, by the way, which I never film in this part of my room. I usually film in like the sitting area if I do film in here. So yeah, I just thought I would do something different. Um, but anywho, so yeah, it's in the little bubble wrap and it also comes in a little dust bag which i absolutely love that uh, most handbags don't come in a dust bag so um and then it just says teddy blake new york on the dust bag and here she is i mean oh my gosh like even in the camera on the camera it looks really just i don't know it's just <laughs> girl i love this bag <laughs> I have no words I love this bag like I said I had before Teddy Blake reached out to me I was scouring the internet actually because I wanted to get a burgundy handbag because I don't have a burgundy handbag um, or I do have one but it's more of made of like a fabric detail like a fabric material and I wanted something like something like this faux kind of faux leather faux, faux croc so yeah it's so beautiful it's in this burgundy color it looks more more lighter on camera than it does actually here with me it looks more of like this kind of like a maroon kind of burgundy but it's so pretty and i love like the gold you know hardware on it and it actually has this little piece here let me see if i can take this um little uh piece here off so yeah this is how it really looks and then on the inside of it we'll just kind of go on the inside it has the stuffing on it and it comes with a strap so I can kind of wear it crossbody or like on my shoulder if I want to. Um, and then I love this little detail here because you can wear it as like a um, top handle or you can you know, put it in the crook of your arm. So many different ways to wear it. And it actually is smaller than what it looked like on the, on the website, which I prefer this small, this uh, size anyway. So I love that. And so it comes with like two little compartments one is here on this side so yeah this is just some stuffing in it actually has a lot of stuffing in it so I'm gonna take that out so yeah so it has this little compartment here and then on this side it has another little compartment with some stuffing in it so yeah so another little compartment and this has like a little part here on the side where I can put like my wallet or something or some money in there and yeah just absolutely love it and like I said, lots of room, at least lots of room for me and you know what I would need it for because I don't carry a whole bunch of stuff around. And this is like a good like everyday bag. Like I can wear this, you know, to run errands or something like that if I'm looking for, or I want to grab for a more, you know, sophisticated, chicer type of a handbag. Um, but yeah, I just absolutely love this handbag. Like it is so pretty and just so just chic and you know, yeah, it's just so, like that old money if you will i know a lot of people don't like that but old money or quiet luxury kind of a feel to it so and of course if you don't want to show the name because the name of the brand is on here you could just kind of wear it like that but i don't know i like the gold 
um, hardware kind of showing. So, but it's really good quality. Um, let me see if it has the name of this bag on here um, for you guys. I will um, try to link it down in the description box. This is the Kiara Bordeaux bag, Croc, Croc Kiara. Anyway, Barrel, don't don't get me to butchering this name. I will put the name of the bag on the screen here. Um, and I'll also link it down in the description box for you guys. Like I said, this was given to me. I mean, wasn't any way paid to talk about this bag. They just wanted to send me a handbag to, you know, share. And so I just thought I would. It has like the little feet detail here as well, like gold hardware. So, but yeah. So, like I said, manifestation is real. Like I was like, I want to, you know, burgundy handbag similar to this. I want something like this. And I'll be doggone if I got it. So um, I need to practice that more often. I really don't practice manifestation as much as I should. Um, but I need to practice that more often because there's a lot of things that I need, girl, that I just need to manifest and put out there it's in the atmosphere for the Lord to just grab a hold to and manifest and bring to pass, girl. Um, but yeah, love this bag. Like I said, I will link it down in the description box for you guys if you're interested in it. But it's just so cute and just so chic. And I can't wait to style it up. It definitely looks kind of like kind of maroonish kind of a burgundy you know how some burgundies can look have like a brown undertone to them this definitely has like a reddish maroon undertone to it so um so perfect for you know this time of year so and we know red is huge burgundy is always huge in the fall and winter but red is so huge right now and burgundy is of course in that red family so but yeah so happy with that bag just wanted to share that bag with you guys um and yeah in case you're in the market for a nice quality handbag um very affordable um i can't remember the the price of it i will link or put the price like i said i'll link the bag so you can check out the bag or just the entire website you know if you're interested in like a handbag or um if you were looking for something like a nice gift to give to you know a female who loves handbags or mail you know then i think that'll be a, a good little you know christmas gift that's a good christmas gift right like a handbag like i wouldn't mind getting a christmas gift or a handbag as a christmas gift so but yeah like i said i will link it down below i keep saying that but um so yeah so that is it for my unboxings i do have some other things that i want to share with you guys because i went crazy with black friday i just I told myself I wasn't gonna do it, but I did. Like, I love to shop, so why not take advantage <laughs> during Black Friday and get the things that I've been eyeing out that are all, you know, on sale. Um, I know I told you guys that I wanted a black, um, like, long coat. I think I mentioned that in one of my last vlogs where I went thrifting and I was trying to thrift one. But Mango, y'all know I love me some Mango, and they give me every time around this time of year is when I typically get a lot of their coats because they go on sale around this time of year. So anyway, I ended up getting a black um, coat from Mango, half off. I think it was originally like 300 bucks, and I got it for 150, which is still a lot, but it it looks like it's a good quality bag. I, I, it looks like it's a good quality coat. I say it looks like because I haven't gotten it yet. I just ordered it like a couple of days ago. I think it's Cyber Monday. I ordered it Cyber Monday, so I'm actually waiting on it to get here. So I'll share share that with you guys. But anyway, I do have some stuff um, here already that I got during Black Friday that I'm just gonna I'm gonna wait and show that stuff to you guys tomorrow. So just so we're not doing everything all in one video, because y'all know I'm used to like vlogging one day and just getting it all in, <laughs> getting it all in in one day. But because we're gonna be vlogging practically every day i'm gonna have to save some stuff for you guys for the the rest of vlogmas or else there won't be a vlogmas if i share if i show you guys everything in one video so um but tomorrow i'm gonna share with you guys some things some new end things because i'm getting some stuff from zara i ordered like two items from zara that i got during i think i got during their sale as well um what else have i gotten i've gotten some stuff from uh all saints my new favorite brand all saints and some stuff from ASOS. But anyway, I'll share with you guys that stuff tomorrow. Um, because like I said, I don't want to do too much in this video because I still haven't even decorated. So I'm actually gonna do that later on. I gotta get my Christmas tree. Every all my decorations are still in the basement. So um, my daughter, she loves to help with that. So she's in school, so I'm waiting on her to get home so that I can so we can do it together because that's something that we love to do together. So because she will be so upset with me if I decorate the tree and she's not here. She'll be so mad at me like, Mom, why did you do that? So, so anyway, I'm just going to rest up a little bit because that took a lot out of me. 
um, cleaning up and just getting things organized. So I'm just gonna rest up a little bit until we do round two and that's, you know, decorating. Hopefully, I'm hoping it's a success because I don't even know if like my Christmas lights are working. So you know, it, it, either way, I'm gonna get this done tonight. Either way, if I have to go to Walmart at two o'clock in the morning to get some lights, this is it's getting done today. Cause yeah, I'm just not, I'm not gonna put it off any longer. I've already put it off or put it off, putting it off. I've already put it off a week, at least a week. Cause by, usually by this time, I would have already had my decorations up. But like I said, I've just, I just haven't been feeling it. It's just been kind of like, one of those weeks, if you will, like I know I said I, I wanted to take a break, but honestly, I just haven't been in the right headspace really this past week to do a whole lot, a whole lot of anything. Um, a lot has been going on, you know, it's just that time of year, right? Like, yeah, like, yeah, it's just that time of year. So where you just kind of like, you know, the sun, you know, the sun goes down early, like it gets dark at 530 and it's like, man, like, why? <laughs> I just hate this time of year as far as the times change. Like, it's just so just like dark at 5.30 and just like, what do you do with your life after 5.30? It's like, it seems like you should be going to bed, right? But it's 5.30 and you're just like, why it's so dark? But anyway, so yeah, I just hate this time of year as far as that's concerned, as far as it getting darker and, you know, your mood is better when it's lighter outside. It's just, it's, you know, there's been studies that shown that when it's bright outside, you know, it's light outside, you know the sun provides vitamin d which you know helps in all those things but anyway yeah so and just it's just been it's just been crazy y'all um which i for those of you who are new i'm a nurse and i work at a hospital and we just had something very tragic happen at one of the hospitals or at the hospital that i work at i'm not going to get into it or whatever but um let's just let's just say it's uh something that you never would think would have happened you know when you're at work you know what i mean or any just anywhere just just you never would think it would be something to happen you know in general you know even though it happens a lot i'm just gonna say uh what happened someone at my job um or someone killed themselves at my job um committed suicide at my job so um yeah and I was at work when it happened so um <laughs> so that 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 was a lot that was a lot for me to kind of process um you know as a nurse we're trained to well I don't even know if I want to say trained I think the I've been in this thing for 20 years right so um there's a lot of things that don't you know surprise me or I'm just kind of numb to if you will um, but someone taking their own life is not something that you can, that I think I will ever be numb to, especially considering I'm a huge advocate for mental health. And, you know, when that happened and it happened when I, while I was at work, you know, it just, it just really just kind of, I don't even, I don't know how to even say it. It put things in perspective for me because I was going through some things and have been going through some things, right? And... It just kind of made me reflect on like you know in spite of some of the things that i'm going through right um i still have a good life and i have something to be thankful for and something to be appreciative of and you know i would rather you know just quit doing whatever it is that i'm doing that's causing me to be in this you know state of mental anguish than to take my own life you know because I get I think about you know my family and my kids like that was that would be something that you know very selfish of me to do you know to end my own life because I think about how my family how my family would take that you know what I'm saying you know and how my children would you know take that you know losing a life or losing a loved one is hard but when that loved one takes their own life you know it just that's just something that you just as a you wouldn't want you don't want to have to I wouldn't want anybody to have to go through. I wouldn't. Um, that's, that would be the most selfish thing I would ever do in life. And, you know, my life, you know, the things that I'm going through are not, as, are not that bad to where I want to take my own life and leave, you know, my family in so much pain because of, you know, what I'm going through. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, it definitely put some things in perspective for me. 
and make me realize that you know life life is valuable and we only have one life and you know we have to make the best of it and do what we can if we need help you know we need to ask for help if there's something and we're in a if we're in a situation or you know a circumstance or a relationship that you know is just not serving us you know and is you know causing us to you know causing our mental health to decline then you know we need to do something about it you know we definitely need to you know not be in that situation you know distance yourself from that situation or from that circumstance that's causing you to have mental anguish because it's not worth it you know <laughs> it's just it's definitely not worth it um I don't think I've ever talked about this on my channel, but um, last year I decided to kind of cut my hours back um, from being a nurse from my nursing job. I went part time. I was full time forever. Like since I've been a nurse, I've always been full time. But I, last year I made a decision that, you know what, I can't I can't do this full time anymore. And it's getting to the point to where I really don't want to do it even part time, honestly. I'm just totally being totally honest and transparent um, because it is a stressful job. And especially when you work in a hospital setting. So, um, but I made the decision last year, actually uh, last October, I went part time. I made a decision, you know what, I'll take a pay cut, you know, because when you go part time, you take a pay cut, right? So I was like, you know what, I'm just, I'm gonna take a pay cut and I'm gonna trust God that you know he's gonna supply my needs because my mental health is more important than any money. My mental health is more important than any status, than any you know um, job elevation. My mental health is more important. And if something is you know um, affecting my mental health, then I need to you know either distance myself from it, which I did. I distanced myself from it a little bit, you know, and it has helped, I would say, because I have more days, you know, off where I can just kind of rejuvenate and replenish myself and also do the things I love to do, which is YouTube. So, um, so it definitely helped. It definitely helped. And, um, like I said, no, nothing is more important than your mental health. I mean, nothing. I don't care what it is like i said money fame status whatever it is that you're trying to obtain and it's costing your mental health it's not worth it it's definitely not worth it so yeah so i rambled on too much about that i really don't even know i wasn't even planning on talking about this but um I, you know like i said i've been mia for the past week or so and so i just wanted to share with you guys kind of like where my headspace has been um, maybe you can relate to it, you know, maybe, you, you know, what I said and, you know, can help you and, you know, can get you out of your funk. Um, and that's why I decided to do Vlogmas because, um, it's just, it's fun for me and it's a way for me to just, like I said, look forward to something, you know, look forward to doing something, you know, and that, that's for me, that's, you know, um, a way that I kind of, uh, provide self-care for myself is, uh, try to you know fix you know find things to do and you know keep myself busy or keep myself entertained or just keep myself um just going and doing things you know and so vlogmas is one way for me to do that so especially during this time of year um it just keeps me focused it keeps me looking forward to something to do to keep me just keep me going and keep my mind from being idle um because we know the, the an idle mind is the devil's playground and so i don't need my mind to be i don't need to be not doing something you know i don't need to be just idle and not doing something i need to always be doing something that's just one tactic that i use so um you know maybe you guys can share you know use it um you know that tactic you know for you just keep busy doing something so um but yeah so like i said i'm gonna just rest up and um wait till my daughter gets home and get these decorations and stuff together so you guys are gonna decorate with me um a little bit later so yeah i'll catch up with you guys in a little bit later.
so here are a box of my decorations i think i'll go ahead and put up these stockings and i need to find my i think my stocking holder is in this little box here uh yeah here they are so i'll get these out and put these on the mantle so that i can hang these stockings up so um i'm probably gonna wait till my daughter gets home to um put up the or put on the rest of the stuff for the tr on the tree um because she's gonna enjoy that so yeah let me get these stocking um little stocking things up put those up here one of them just broke so hopefully i can fix it so I can hang up my stockings. So yeah, I'm gonna hang up my stockings here. everyone so i am finally done decorating for Wee. we Wee. well you help me a little bit um i need to find something to fix my little reindeer one of my little decorations broke so i gotta fix that one of the reindeers i have um but anyway so we're done and so i'm just give you like a quick little tour of everything um because i think as of right now for right now we're done i think i've done quite a bit for the day so we'll start off in the kitchen because that's kind of like where i started off at so let me turn you guys around. so up top um my refrigerator i just put like some little poinsettia little garland up here and there's like a little candle kind of like you can probably I don't know if you can see it if you open the refrigerator maybe you can see it better so yeah there's like a little candle kind of like here in the middle of it just to kind of add a little bit of something on my refrigerator and then up here i have another little garland um it lights up but i put like some little uh fairy lights on it or twinkle lights whatever you call it wrapped around the garland and then i put like some more little you know splashes of um poinsettias up there and then down here i have a little candle uh you guys probably can't see let me turn the light on um, i have a little candle with like this little centerpiece here let me turn the under there we go turn the under cabinet lights on um so yeah so this is just like a little um what are these like little berries it's like a little wreath um but i put like a little candle um in it or inside of it so that's what it looks like so 
just a little pop of red here um, and then over my sink um, I had this little home sign already so I just added these two little um, decorations to flank the little home sign and then I just put like a little ornament in there just for a little pop of red over here um, so that is the um, kitchen. kitchen oh I forgot this part the centerpiece of my kitchen island I don't know where I got this from. All these decorations are old, by the way. Nothing's new so far. I don't know if I may buy, I don't know if I'll buy anything else, but um, I think we're good. So yeah, so this centerpiece, this is my little Lazy Susan, I think is what it's called, that rotates, um, that I got um, actually for the fall season. I got this from, um, what did we get that from? Hobby Lobby? Do you remember? I can't remember where we got it from, but no, anyway. No, it was from uh, Home Goods. Home Goods? Yeah, Home Goods, that's right. Um, and then this is like a little um, placemat, like a little uh, for your table, but I just put it on top of here just to add, I don't know, just a little detail. Um, and then this little Christmas tree, where is this from? I got this Poppy. last year sometime, I guess, um, but it's Poppy. old. Um, so yeah, little Christmas tree up here. This candle I had for the fall season, so I just thought I just, because I haven't, obviously, it's not even halfway finished, so I just thought I'd use it again. And then here's the little, um, another little candle, little feature. This candle actually is, this little thing is broken. Like it has a candle that goes in, or a battery that goes in it, but it, I, for some kind of, some kind of way I broke it. So, um, I'll just put it here and I just put like another little poinsettia here. So that is my little centerpiece there on my kitchen island. So as you can see, my refrigerator or my refrigerator, my kitchen is just like little pops of red here and there throughout. Um, cause I just love red for the holiday season. Um, we'll go over there in a minute. And then here is, um, my, um, can you go turn the light on? Turn this light on right here. Cause it's dark right here. Turn it on on the other side over there. Um, this is the side of my stove here. Some little cabinetry. And I just put like a few little decorations here, um, that are old. And I can add some little poinsettias for some pop of red. And then as far as, um, my cup for the season is this uh, little cup here that says joy it's just like a little um what is that like a little what do you call this thing like a little uh, boot, boot? A little boot there you go boot thank you so like a little boot that says joy on it yeah my little thing broke i got this last year so i need to get find my super glue i can't find my super glue somebody's taking it and misplaced it so i gotta find it um so i will put that somewhere um and then over here and our little breakfast area. Um, I've had this already over here and I just put um, in, put this inside of this little wreath that I've had for years, gosh. I had this probably, how old are you, 11? 11. Um, I wanna say I got this, you were, up, were you born when I, when I made this? I can't remember, but it's old, it's really, really old, like super old. Um, I made this actually um, several years ago and so yeah i just thought i would use it as like a little centerpiece because i don't i haven't used it in a while but i don't like to throw away stuff that i've made um because i made that so i just it makes me proud because i made it so um but that is on our little breakfast area just to add a little something over here like a little pop of red so this is kind of like the view of the kitchen area with some like i said little pops of red um because i like pops of red and we know red is a huge trending color perfect for the um season all right so here is the living room just kind of at a glance there's the tree um, that you guys saw us um putting together i like to have lots of decorations so so much so that you can't even see the greenery on this tree because you can't see the greenery on this tree at all but um this is a tree and i put like a little bow topper i made that as well um i'm thinking i'm gonna put something else up here i'm gonna look around and see if i can find something if not i'll just keep it but yeah, um, so this is the final look of the tree. And then up here, I showed you guys this earlier, a little poinsettia wreath, or wreath not wreath, poinsettia, a little garland. Um, I don't even remember where I got this from. Uh, but anyway, so put that up there just to add some red. You guys seen my stockings. And then here, I just put these two little drummer boys down here. Um, I don't even remember where I got these from. And then I put like a it little, this is like a little home. Santa Claus hat that I have like some little decorations in. I can't figure out where to put that, so because we're not using the fireplace right now, I'll just put that there. But of course, once we use the fireplace, I'll probably move that. that these two are um, and then here is 
where the TV or up below my TV, my little console, um, I just put this up, this little sign that says joy and just put like some little reindeer and uh, some more like little pops of red and poinsettias. Um, yeah, just add some red over here. And I love this little feature. I got this last year. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby, mm -hmm. um, but I love it. It goes with my um, Vlogmas intro. So yeah, so that is the console and it just actually matches perfectly with uh, what we have on the TV. We're playing Christmas music as you guys probably heard. And then here is the um, centerpiece for my little ottoman here that we have in front of our um, couch. And so I just put like some little, again, little fairy lights. What do you call those little lights? Fairy, fairy lights? lights? They're fairy lights. Fairy lights? Anyway, I just put those in there. They're battery operated and I put some more little bobbles in there, decorations, and then this little piece here with some poinsettias in it. And then over here, we have had this little feature here. So I just put in some more little um, poinsettias. I think I put a white one and a red one and then like some more of those little like, um, what do you call it? Like little berry type situation Styrofoam so put those Styrofoam. in there and then as well here put one here this one kind of sparkles a little bit so put that in there as well to add a little bit of red and then here is in front of um my little mirror here in our um, foyer so again i just added i added this little um little wreath i think is what it is i don't know but i put my little candle in there another little a little decorative piece there and some poinsettias. I put a poinsettia in there. And then over here by the door, I put uh, some poinsettias in this little um, feature that I have here. Turn that light on real quick, real quick. Yeah, so we, not the light, not the outside light, girl. Oh my goodness. <laughs> um, yeah, so yeah, I put the little red poinsettias in here and then also put some in this little floral little feature here that I have by our um, door, our front door. So, um, did I miss anything? You have, you have a new sign, but that's not um, Yeah, it's not really Christmassy. I just put that there just for right now. But but anyway, here's the overview of everything. Wait, is there something in the bathroom? No, I didn't put anything in the bathroom. So, a little overview of our little Christmas decoration. So, um, and like I said, I don't know if I'll add anything else. I don't know. I think this is probably enough as it is. Um, I feel like if I put more, it'll be too much, but I don't know. We'll see, um, what I look, what I get into and what I may add, you know, we, I may add some stuff cause I don't have anything in my formal dining room and I'm thinking I want to add some stuff in there. Um, but we'll see. So, so that's one thing off my to-do list for the day and this took forever. So, um, cause I've been working on it since. I talked to you guys last earlier in the day so um but, but that's it um i'm gonna try to get i can find something to eat i'm starving so i'm gonna try to find something to eat and then if we get up to anything else i will come back and of course vlog it so see you guys later two thousand years later hey guys so i just wanted to pop in here real quick it is much much later um so um actually as you can see i'm in the bed and just getting ready to call it a night and i forgot to close off this vlog i've been editing the vlog and just realized that i haven't closed it out so here i am closing it out so um yeah hope you guys enjoy the vlog and um enjoy just kind of spending the day with me like i said you know decorating and talking a little bit about mental health i hope you guys found that a little bit helpful and hopefully hopefully it wasn't too triggering um because sometimes when you talk about sensitive topics it can kind of trigger some people so i gave a disclaimer so hopefully you know um for those that didn't want to see that part hopefully you clicked off or skipped it so um and for those that did want to see it then hopefully you got something out of it so uh oh my phone my camera don't want to focus um but yeah hope you guys like i said enjoyed the video um tomorrow we're gonna be right at it again so 
um i think tomorrow i have a few things planned tomorrow like i said i wanted to do a haul and show you guys some new end pieces that i just recently got so um and it's, it's speaking of new end pieces the teddy blake handbag i will link it down below if you guys want to check it out or any of the bags um from that brand um i've heard a lot of a lot of good things about that brand so i'm glad to finally have one of my own so and i highly recommend it so at least first impressions anyway so um but yeah i think that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video once again if you did don't forget to like and subscribe and stay tuned for more videos more vlogs you know we're kicking off vlogmas with a bang so um uh, but yeah thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video all right bye guys